guys! Welcome to our video. I hope you are in a comfortable place. Today, we are going to talk about two important issues circulating in the Philippines illustrated in a caricature. Entitled, Territorial Struggle Philippines vs. China and Confront the Reality of Education Quality in the Philippines. But before that, let me first introduce to you the speakers in this video. Lord Gert John Havana, Chris Chigarte, Harold Donoso, Julie Jean Gibone, Liana Jade Labor, Glory Joy Gato, Glebe Shane Hamero, Bridget Durian in Love, and Megan Lavilia. This caricature depicts the West Philippine Sea dispute. The Chinese are symbolized by a powerful sea dragon representing their assertiveness and dominance in the region. Conversely, the Philippines is depicted as a humble small boat fisherman symbolizing the country's smaller size and more modest resources in comparison to China. The dragon's menacing presence looms over the small boat, illustrating the unequal power dynamics at play. Supported by evidences such as satellite imagery and international arbitration rulings, the caricature underscores the need for unity among affected countries and international support to uphold the rule of law and protect maritime rights. It highlights the invasive nature of China's actions and the resilience of smaller nations in the face of such challenges. Ultimately, the caricature serves as a call to action for collective diplomatic efforts to counter China's expansionism and ensure the principles of freedom of navigation, peaceful resolution of disputes, and respect for sovereignty in the region. The West Philippine Sea dispute involves conflicting claims over islands, reefs, and shoals within the Philippines' exclusive economic zone. Despite the Philippines' severity assertion, China, Taiwan, Vietnam, Malaysia, and Brunei also claim the area. Tensions escalated in 2012 when China seized Scarborough Shoal. The 2016 ruling by the Permanent Court of Arbitration favored of the Philippines, nullifying China's claim. The dispute impacts regional security, stability, and various economic activities. In the caricature, it shows a power imbalance with the Filipino represented by the person wearing salakut appearing uneasy in the face of the more heavily armed Chinese counterpart symbolized by a dragon. The visual underscores the complexity of territorial conflicts and the need for clear boundaries, historical understanding, and adherence to international law. In the caricature, the dominant dragon portrays China overshadowing the figure that represents the Philippines, symbolizing the challenges faced by the Philippines despite its rightful claim to the West Philippine Sea. The Philippines, citing the United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea, or UNCLOS, asserts its exclusive economic zone over the contested areas, while China maintains historical claims to that region. Despite attempts at resolution through diplomatic means, the international arbitration and multilateral discussions a conclusive agreement has yet to be achieved. The situation remains intricate and ongoing, reflecting the multi-phase nature of this going geopolitical struggle. The West Philippine Sea problem is like a big argument between the China and the Philippines about who gets to control part of the South China Sea, also known as the West Philippine Sea. China says it owns a lot even putting military stuff on islands that are in dispute. Now, this disagreement isn't just about countries fighting. It also affects the people living near the sea. Fishing and using the ocean for resources became uncertain. And that's a big deal for communities that rely on the sea for their way of life. On a larger scale, the situation creates worry about the balance of power in the whole region and even involves big countries from outside the region. So it's not just a problem between China and the Philippines. It's a complex issue that needs careful handling to find a fair solution for everyone involved. 
This caricature tells a strong story of a Filipino student wearing a salakot, symbolizing the nation's people, and a broken door representing the substandard education system in the Philippines. The country consistently ranks among the lowest in literacy, with a program for International Student Assessment, or PISA, reporting a concerning decline. The student's tired face in the caricature serves as a visual testament to the weariness and challenges faced by Filipino students striving for education amidst a flawed system. The message is not just about reading problems but also asks for better things in schools like more useful materials and better places to learn. It says we should work together to make sure Filipino students have what they need for school success and a good future. The lack of resources is one of the factors why there is low improvements of education here in the Philippines. Some schools are still experiencing the lack of materials, textbooks, and technology, which leads to make the teachers struggle to deliver effective lessons and impacts the quality of education itself. Lack of resources may restrict students' exposure to a variety of subjects and extracurricular activities and will limit their holistic development. Insufficient resources can lead to an inspiring learning environment, affecting student motivation and engagement in class. And if the student do not engage to the class, it will lead to poor education. The lack of educational resources can hinder the overall quality of education, the student's success, and contribute to educational inequalities. The impact is not only an academic achievement of a student, but also with their personal and professional development. So we can't deny the fact that it affects both the educator and the learner. Sufficient resources such as up-to-date textbooks, technology, and well-equipped facilities will enhance the overall educational environment. Remember what Benjamin Franklin said, an investment in knowledge pays the best interest. These caricatures depict the poor education in the Philippines. Many children are denied to access quality education due to overcrowded classrooms, insufficient resources, and lack of training of teachers. The situation not only robs our youth of the right to learn, but also perpetuates a cycle of poverty that traps families for generations. Considering those students who travel from the long distances just to attend school, not only to find themselves crammed into classrooms with few desks and chairs. Imagine the frustration of those teachers who only wanted to provide a quality education but are hindered by outdated textbooks and limited teaching materials. These problems are not just for individuals but also a barrier for a nation's progress. Without a well-educated population, we cannot hope to compete in a global economy or tackle a challenges that lies ahead. There may be a disconnect between education and career opportunities if the curriculum and teaching techniques are not always in line with the demands of the workforce in the 21st century. This mismatch impedes the nation's economic growth and exacerbates the problem of low-quality education. The Philippines' poor educational standards are a serious issue because of things like inadequate financing, packed classrooms, and out-of-date textbooks. The largest obstacles comes from the lack of access into high-quality education in rural and underdeveloped areas. The recent PISA results really put a spotlight on the struggles that the Philippines' education system is facing. Students in the Philippines are scoring about 120 points lower than the world average in important subjects like math, reading, and science. It's clear that we've got some big hurdles to overcome, including not having enough resources, needing better methods of teaching, and making sure that the kids in hard to reach places can get the chances to learn as everyone else. To make things better, we need to take some serious steps. This means better schools and training for teachers, updating what and how we teach, and making sure every student 
as a fair shot at a good education. We should also put more focus on teaching kids to think creatively and solve problems because these skills are going to be super important for their futures. If we don't take action to improve education, the Philippines might continue to fall behind, and that could mean tougher times ahead for everyone. We need to fix this for our kids today and for the countries tomorrow. Thank you.